Okay, so this one had, was making a noise. It was making a funny noise. And you can see this is Kenmore. And here's your model number. And so these have these little gaps right here where things can slide through and get inside the drum or the tub. Right down there. So it's a good idea to put your clothes, your small clothes, in a netted bag. So you have a net bag and put it in small clothes because they can slip down inside there. And when I first tried this, when I moved this, you could hear some noise when it went one way. Um, and sometimes if you have something stuck in here, it'll go both ways and you'd hear, you'll hear the noise. But what I found out, I was a little, uh, a little apprehensive about digging into this because sometimes you have to split the two halves of the drum. It's basically, the, these are the two halves. You have to completely remove the drum and split the two halves to remove some things. Sometimes, if you're lucky, you may be able to take a magnet and um, fish it out or a coating or fish it out through the bottom water pump. And But what I found is, and I've never seen this before, this little thing here had come loose and it was actually sucked down in there. And you can see it's uh, it's been torn apart. And so that thing was actually down in there. And it was like stuck in there and it was rubbing against that basket there. And so... Yeah, that's, that's the basket right there. Sometimes you can look inside here and see stuff that's uh, in here. And when I checked this, I noticed that the sound was coming from above. And I thought, oh, that's weird. How can anything stick on the bottom? Normally it will stick on the, excuse me, on the top. Normally it will stick on the bottom. Something will stick on the bottom or the bottom sides. But so this one, the only problem with this one was that little tube got stuck down in there. It got sucked in there for some reason. Um, probably because the large load or something pushed that thing down in there and it was down in there causing an obstruction and so we lucked out on this one it's going to be an easy fix so what I normally do is I'll clean it up with some sandpaper and I'll use my E6000 to glue it back in place and possibly put some tape around it but the E6000 is good uh, adhesive it will hold for a long time and that's what I'll do okay just like that uh, back to normal So originally when they told me it was making noise I thought well check can you check the uh, Check the drum to see if there's slop in the bushing bearing. There's basically an axle in the center of that basket And that axle sometimes those bearings go bad depends if you overload it and know how old the machine is Now this action here. That's normal action So you can see because we have shock absorbers We have these springs and we also have shock absorbers on the bottom so you can feel here, this is normal. But if you have up and down play on the basket, then your drum is shot. But this one, this has very minor play, but and it's still good, pretty good, doesn't make any noise. Sometimes the spider, which is this triangle thing, will go out. And so if one of the legs on these triangles rusts out, then you'll have a similar problem where the noise uh, will be uh, very loud on the spin cycle. Okay, so that's your tip for today. Thanks for watching. Please rate, comment, and subscribe. Also, I have lots of parts for sale, used parts. If you need any, you can contact me. Any help, I give phone advice for $25-707-443-8347, Pacific Time. Email is z underscore fixitman at yahoo.com.